Welcome back to Yacht Addiction. The super yacht behind me is the 2014 Mangusta 165 Evolution, or E for short. Now officially this yacht is 163 feet and 9 inches. It sleeps up to 10 guests with 9 crew. If you're looking for a stylish super yacht with an Italian pedigree that also happens to be incredibly fast and insanely large, then this is the super yacht for you. This yacht is listed for sale by Moran Yacht and & Ship and they've granted us access to do a full tour of this yacht today. Let's get started with this Mangusta Super Yacht Tour. So starting on the swim platform, you have this absolutely massive transom door that will open up. And inside here, you can see you have a couple of jet skis and you also have the crane that will release these jet skis into the water. And back here, you also have storage for all of your other equipment and gear for water sports. Now you can make your way up on either side. And this is the aft deck. You have this beautiful seating area right here. A little bar area with some storage. And then you have a dining space that sits up to 12. You have an overhang over this section. And then this section is covered by a removable awning. You have storage on both sides of this deck, but I think we're gonna make our way inside this incredible yacht. Now you'll see this huge sliding glass door, and this will open automatically as we move forward. Of course, this feature can be turned off if you want it to be pushed to open. But look at all of this Italian style. You have the day head right here. And then the only area we're not gonna look at on the yacht today is the crew area. Like I said, this yacht holds nine crew and it is fully crewed. So that's a very busy area. We're not able to see that today. But here you can see your main salon. There's a beautiful blend between these dark grays and then the lighter wood finishes. And then opposite of that, you have this bar area. There are five bar stools. Then if you go behind here, you'll see you have a sink, wine fridge, ice maker, more refrigeration, everything you need to cater for this main salon. Then if we move forward, you have the actual formal dining area, which has a very minimalistic look, but I actually really like it. You have some beautiful wood grain in the wood here, and that is lined up as you make your way down the corners. And then this owner keeps the yacht fully stocked. So I'm sure there's something that will satisfy your palate. There's two doors up here and both of them lead up to the helm station. You can see three helm seats. And then here, let me give you a look at the actual helm. You have an all glass cockpit with four large monitors and then all of the ship systems. There's a little office space, not really an office space, but there's a little desk here for the captain. And there are also side access doors on both sides of the helm. And this will bring you up to the bow. But we will look at all the outside spaces later on in the tour. And one thing I'm noticing, and I actually really like, everything is very cleanly laid out. There's not too much going on, it's not too busy. It's a wide open space, meant to be enjoyed. So if we head down to the guest cabins, as well as some other fun rooms. The master cabin is in the midship, and we'll check that out last. You have some laundry facilities right here, but I believe there are also a separate set of facilities in the crew area. On the starboard side, we have a media room. So you have this incredible couch, and this faces 
the large TV up on the wall. Opposite of that, you have a little day head for this area, but it also is connected to the gym. Now, I believe this was the owner specification, but I do think this would act as a cabin if you had it configured a different way. But then look at this attached shower. It's a rainfall shower. And then if we keep moving forward, we'll find the other guest cabins. Here's the ensuite. Rainfall shower on this one. Very similar room opposite of that. And then if we move all the way forward, we will reach the VIP cabin. And for a VIP cabin, this is a huge room. You walk in, you have a little desk or dressing area right here. And then you have a double vanity, rainfall shower in here with a bench. Then you have a really good sized closet. I also thought this was pretty cool. If you wanted to, you could add some bookshelves here. You could throw a cushion and layout right here. It's currently just empty, but it does look pretty good empty with just the black paint here. And there is a shade that will close that off. But there's some extra space there if you want to do something with it. And it's also on the opposite side. Now that we've seen the guest cabins, we can check out the full beam master. You have storage closets all along this wall. Obviously, we're not going to be opening them all on a brokerage super yacht like this. But look at how much space you have in this master stateroom. You have a desk here. Another large closet right here. And then the ensuite for the master is a walkthrough. So you have your sink and a toilet. If you step through, this whole area is a shower room. So there's two different rainfall showers above. You have your large tub. And then if you step through, you have the next sink and toilet and bidet. You can see the themes of the gray, the light woods, and the black all throughout this yacht. One thing you'll see on Italian yachts, they're very stylish. You either love it or hate it with the design. But personally, I really like this one. So if we head back to the aft deck, we're going to hop on the side deck and make our way forward to the bow. So up here on the bow, you have some sun pads that wrap around this drop down jacuzzi. And there's also a TV that rises up right here. You have a couple little tables and some bench seating. And then forward of that, it's a perfect place to lay out in the sun. You have this massive sun pad, probably the biggest I've ever seen on any super yacht thus far.
If you're enjoying the super yacht tour, please leave a like on the video. And also comment down below in the comment section if there's something that you particularly loved, something you didn't like. So that led us back to the aft deck. And we still have to head up to the flybridge. Now up here you have another glass helm station. Beautiful spot to drive the boat from. There's a captain's chair, some seating on either side. Then over here you have another bar, and I personally really like the navy blue and white tiled section here. Back here you can see you have a fridge and ice maker and a sink. There's a TV that rises up right here, a convertible table, and then more places to hang out. And then there's also a grill underneath this countertop here. So now we're going to find our way to the engine room. I think the easiest place to do it would be back through this tender storage. So if we open this up, So this yacht comes with three MTU 16V 4000 M93Ls. They're 2,566 horsepower each. Your top speed is about 40 knots and you'll get about 550 nautical miles of range at that speed. You can cruise at 34 knots, get about 625 miles of range. And they're all attached to Rolls-Royce Kamewa water jets. We have some serious performance, like I said. This boat is incredibly fast and incredibly fun. Now it's really hard to do so when it's a yacht this size, but I did want to try to get some resemblance of a profile shot of this yacht. Back to the outro. So I think we'll finish the tour right here on the aft deck. Thank you to Moran Yacht and Ship for setting up this tour. This listing will be linked down in the description below if you want to see it in more detail or other listings of Moran Yacht and Ship. Let me know what you thought of this one in the comment section down below and I'll catch you next time.